Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Take the driver's seat. Come on. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzer food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Mr. McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Hello there. Not feeling ill, I hope. I Need some law? Hi there. If you can't Finally come to get that bullet out your leg. Thank you very much. Southwestern Railroad says more trains. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time.
Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you. Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright, but he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dickhead. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right, tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. OK, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. The saloon's this way. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folks. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. We ain't the government. Is the dumb rat bastard now? Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. 
He spotted you. Stay on him, boy. I'm getting after him. Catch me up. Let's go. Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. How long's easy money for easy work? Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. He's holed up at the old Pleasant's house. Let's hold up a minute and find a spot for our horses. Looks like we got company, boys. Damn. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. Take cover behind that wagon to your right. I'll take all of you down. Bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Someone might as well have this.
Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. Can't the police force help you? Oh, they can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. Hello? Hello? Is Armadillo 731? What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshall! Marshall! <coughs> Marshall! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure.
How long you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight left son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Come on. I'll be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the bollards. this way. Marston, you can tag along with me or join the deputies. My God. Hurry up. Stay with us. Me and you again, Marston. Let's hope this goes as well as last time. That'll do it. Come on, let's keep moving. Sorry, partner. Come on! The dead open. I saw a couple of snipers across the way. Eyes up! Snipers! Come on! Give them hell! You 
you starting to regret this yet? There's a son of a bitch. Get those thieving bastards! Let's push on. It sounds like the deputies can use a hand. There's one of them. Let's try to sneak up on them. The closer we are, the less chance they have of making a run for it. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You can say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. 